In physics, Hamilton's principle is William Rowan Hamilton's formulation of the principle of stationary action see that article for historical formulations. It states that the dynamics of a physical system is determined by a variational problem for a functional based on a single function, the Lagrangian, which contains all physical information concerning the system and the forces acting on it. The variational problem is equivalent to and allows for the derivation of the differential equations of motion of the physical system. Although formulated originally for classical mechanics, Hamilton's principle also applies to classical fields such as the electromagnetic and gravitational fields, and plays an important role in quantum mechanics, quantum field theory and criticality theories. Topic. Mathematical formulation Hamilton's principle states that the true evolution q t of a system described by n generalized coordinates q equals q1, q2. qn between two specified states q1 topic Q T one and Q two Q T two at two specified times T one and T two as a stationary point, a point where the variation is zero of the action functional S Q equals D E F T one T two L Q T Q T T D T Display style math call s math bf q stackrel mathrm def equals int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two l math bf q t dot math bf q t t d t where l q q t Display style L Math BF Q do T Math BF Q T is the Lagrangian function for the system. In other words, any first order perturbation of the true evolution results in at most second order changes in S Display style math call S the action S Display style math call S is a functional, i.e., something that takes as its input a function and returns a single number, a scalar. In terms of functional analysis, Hamilton's principle states that the true evolution of a physical system is a solution of the functional equation. Topic: <laughs> Euler-Lagrange equations derived from the action integral. requiring that the true trajectory q t be a stationary point of the action functional s display style math call s is equivalent to a set of differential equations for q t the euler lagrange equations which may be derived as follows let q t represent the true evolution of the system between two specified states q1 Topic Q T one and Q two Q T two at two specified times T one and T two, and let epsilon T be a small perturbation that is zero at the endpoints of the trajectory Epsilon T one equals Epsilon T Two equals D E F zero 
Display style bold symbol var epsilon t underscore one equals bold symbol var epsilon t underscore two stackrel mathrm def equals zero. To first order in the perturbation epsilon t, the change in the action functional delta s display style delta math call s would be delta s equals t 1 t 2 l q plus epsilon q plus epsilon minus l q q d t equals t 1 t 2 epsilon l q plus epsilon l q d t Display style delta math call s equals int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two left l math bf q plus bold symbol var epsilon dot math bf q plus dot bold symbol var epsilon l math bf q dot math bf q right d t equals Int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two left bold symbol var epsilon c d o t f r a c partial l partial math b f q plus dot bold symbol var epsilon c d o t f r a c partial l partial dot math b f q right d t where we have expanded the Lagrangian l to first order in the perturbation epsilon t. Applying integration by parts to the last term results in delta s equals epsilon l q t one t two plus t one t two epsilon L Q minus Epsilon D D T L Q D T Display style delta math call s equals left bold symbol var epsilon c d o t f r a c partial l partial dot math b f q right underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two plus int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two left bold symbol var epsilon c d o t f r a c partial l partial math b f q bold symbol Var epsilon C D O T F R A C D D T F R A C partial L partial dot Math B F Q right D T The boundary conditions Epsilon T one equals Epsilon T two equals D E F zero display style bold symbol var epsilon t underscore one equals bold symbol var epsilon t underscore two stackrel mathrm def equals zero causes the first term to vanish. Delta s equals t one t two Epsilon L Q minus D D T L Q D T 
Display style delta math call s equals int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two bold symbol var epsilon c d o t left frac partial l partial math b f q frac d d t frac partial l partial dot math b f q right d t Hamilton's principle requires that this first order change. Delta S display style delta math call S is zero for all possible perturbations epsilon t, i.e., the true path is a stationary point of the action functional S display style math call S, either a minimum, maximum, or saddle point. This requirement can be satisfied if and only if. These equations are called the Euler-Lagrange equations for the variational problem. Topic: <laughs> Canonical momenta and constants of motion. The conjugate momentum pk for a generalized coordinate qk is defined by the equation p k equals D E F L Q K Display style P underscore K stackrel Mathem def equals FRAC partial L partial dot Q underscore K an important special case of the Euler-Lagrange equation occurs when L does not contain a generalized coordinate qk explicitly. L q k equals zero d d t L q k equals zero d p k d t equals zero display style frac partial l partial q underscore k equals zero quad right arrow quad frac d d t frac partial l partial dot q underscore k equals zero quad right arrow quad frac d p underscore k d t equals zero that is the conjugate momentum as a constant of the motion in such cases, the coordinate qk is called a cyclic coordinate. For example, if we use polar coordinates t, r, theta to describe the planar motion of a particle, and if L does not depend on theta, the conjugate momentum is the conserved angular momentum. Topic: <laughs> Example: Free particle in polar coordinates. Trivial examples help to appreciate the use of the action principle via the Euler-Lagrange equations. A free particle mass m and velocity v in Euclidean space moves in a straight line. Using the Euler-Lagrange equations, this can be shown in polar coordinates as follows. In the absence of a potential, the Lagrangian is simply equal to the kinetic energy L equals 1 2 m v 2 equals 1 2 m x 2 plus y 2 Display style L equals FRAC one two M V carrot two equals FRAC one two M left dot x carrot two plus dot y carrot two right in orthonormal x, y coordinates, where the dot represents differentiation with respect to the curve parameter, usually the time t. Therefore, upon application of the Euler Lagrange equations, D D 
T L X minus L X equals zero M X equals zero Display style FRAC D D T left FRAC partial L partial dot X right FRAC partial L partial X equals zero Q quad right arrow Q quad M D D O T X equals zero and likewise for Y. Thus the Euler Lagrange formulation can be used to derive Newton's laws. In polar coordinates R phi, the kinetic energy and hence the Lagrangian becomes L equals 1 2 M R 2 plus R 2 phi 2 Display style L equals FRAC one two M left dot R carrot two plus R carrot two dot Barfi carrot two right. The radial R and phi components of the Euler Lagrange equations become, respectively, D D T L R minus L R equals zero R minus R phi two equals zero Display style FRAC D D T left FRAC partial L partial dot R right FRAC partial L partial R equals zero Q quad right arrow Q quad D D O T R R dot Barfi carrot two equals zero D D T L Phi Minus L Phi equals zero Phi plus two R R Phi equals zero Display style FRAC D D T left FRAC partial L partial dot Varfi right FRAC partial L partial Varfi equals zero Q quad right arrow Q quad D D O T Varfi plus FRAC two R dot R dot Varfi equals zero. The solution of these two equations is given by R equals a t plus b 2 plus c 2 display style r equals sqrt at plus b caret 2 plus c caret 2 phi equals tan minus 1 a T plus B C plus D display style varphi equals ten carat minus one left frac at plus B C right plus D for a set of constants A B C D determined by initial conditions. Thus, indeed, the solution is a straight line given in polar coordinates, A is the velocity, C is the distance of the closest approach to the origin, and D is the angle of motion. Topic. Applied to deformable bodies Hamilton's principle is an important variational principle in elastodynamics. 
As opposed to a system composed of rigid bodies, deformable bodies have an infinite number of degrees of freedom and occupy continuous regions of space. Consequently, the state of the system is described by using continuous functions of space and time. The extended Hamilton principle for such bodies is given by T 1 T 2 delta w e plus delta t minus delta u d t equals 0 Display style int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two left delta w underscore e plus delta t delta u right d t equals zero, where t is the kinetic energy, u is the elastic energy, v is the work done by external loads on the body, and t one t two the initial and final times. If the system is conservative, the work done by external forces may be derived from a scalar potential V in this case delta T 1 T 2 T minus U plus V D T equals Zero. Display style delta int underscore t underscore one caret t underscore two left t u plus v right d t equals zero. This is called Hamilton's principle, and it is invariant under coordinate transformations. Topic: Comparison with Malpert's principle. Hamilton's principle and Malpert's principle are occasionally confused and both have been called incorrectly the principle of least action. They differ in three important ways. Their definition of the action Malpert's principle uses an integral over the generalized coordinates known as the abbreviated action or reduced action S 0 equals D E F P D Q Display style math call S underscore zero stackrel mathem def equals int math BF P C D O T D Math BF Q where P equals P one P two PN are the conjugate momenta defined above. By contrast, Hamilton's principle uses S display style math call S the integral of the Lagrangian over time. Dot the solution that they determine. Hamilton's principle determines the trajectory q t as a function of time, whereas Malpert's principle determines only the shape of the trajectory in the generalized coordinates. For example, Malpert's principle determines the shape of the ellipse on which a particle moves under the influence of an inverse square central force such as gravity, but does not describe per se how the particle moves along that trajectory. However, this time parameterization may be determined from the trajectory itself in subsequent calculations using the conservation of energy. By contrast, Hamilton's principle directly specifies the motion along the ellipse as a function of time. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 and the constraints on the variation. Malpert's principle requires that the two endpoint states Q1 and Q2 be given and that energy be conserved along every trajectory, same energy for each trajectory. This forces the endpoint times to be varied as well. By contrast, Hamilton's principle does not require the conservation of energy, but does require that the endpoint times T1 and T2 be specified as well as the endpoint states Q1 and Q2.
Topic: <laughs> Action principle for fields. Topic: <laughs> Classical field theory. The action principle can be extended to obtain the equations of motion for fields, such as the electromagnetic field or gravity. The Einstein equation utilizes the Einstein–Hilbert action as constrained by a variational principle. The path of a body in a gravitational field i.e. free fall in space-time, a so-called geodesic, can be found using the action principle. Topic. Quantum mechanics and quantum field theory In quantum mechanics, the system does not follow a single path whose action is stationary, but the behavior of the system depends on all imaginable paths and the value of their action. The action corresponding to the various paths is used to calculate the path integral, that gives the probability amplitudes of the various outcomes. Although equivalent in classical mechanics with Newton's laws, the action principle is better suited for generalizations and plays an important role in modern physics. Indeed, this principle is one of the great generalizations in physical science. In particular, it is fully appreciated and best understood within quantum mechanics. Richard Feynman's path integral formulation of quantum mechanics is based on a stationary action principle, using path integrals. Maxwell's equations can be derived as conditions of stationary action. Topic. See also Analytical mechanics Configuration space Hamilton Jacobi equation, phase space, geodesics as Hamiltonian flows. <laughs>